Hello. Okay, I'm just back in from my doctor's appointment about my fifth. Still it, bird? <laughs> no. Um, about my fifth appointment in as many weeks, actually, if I'm honest. This is just a chat. This video. I'll explain why. Um, I put up a video today. Uh, today is. Wednesday the 30th, no it's not, it's Thursday the 31st. Uh, put up a video this morning, I went out, I took a video in the mist and I spoke about my new camera that I will be getting at some stage. And um, I was talking about the camera, this camera that I'm using right now, how good it's been really. And I said I used it for about two plus years every single day. I used to make a video once at one stage. Um, every single day or virtually every single day and um, a friend of mine John Long said I really missed those days I used to look forward to it get up in the morning make myself a slurpee and sit down and watch Bry um, and really I only make a video now probably weekly once a week something like that so this new camera when I get it it might encourage me to make a few more videos might do we'll see see how we feel cheers As I say, I just in from the doctor, so needed a slurpee, and I'm going to roll a fag as well. Um, so my question, I've got a question really, and my question is, I'm thinking about doing on the other channel on this year. I'm thinking about doing a longer weekly video than I currently am. Some of my videos on there are two minutes, three minutes, um, just to show you what's coming up, basically. So I'm thinking about doing a longer video. I have in the past, I've shown some sort of time-lapse work. I've shown some real-time work. Um, I've shown my dotting tools, my paintbrushes. You see me producing a piece of art from start to finish, etc., etc. I'm thinking about doing something similar-ish to that um, on that channel, but more of a chat, um, a bit of a chat and a bit of art kind of thing, you know. And it may be a long video, if I do them, if I was to do a weekly video like that, it could be a long video, it could be a 20 minute video, it could be an hour video. Um, so, a twofold question, would you be prepared to watch, if I was to do a long, long video on this yard once a week, say half an hour to an hour, would you be prepared to watch, would that interest you? Um, it would be me chatting, emptying my head, um, probably having a slurpee, doing a piece of art or talking about art or something like that, talking about whatever crops up, whatever comes into my head and um, answering any questions and what have you that I get on perhaps either channel, you know, question wise. So it could be about anything, just a chatty video really, uh, mostly art I suppose, but about anything. So would you be prepared to watch a long video? That's uh, question one. And really question two, the second part of the question is, if I was to do a video like that, should I put it up on both channels? Um, it sounds ridiculous really, because if people are into my art, then they would normally join this yard, you would have thought. Um, saying that, I've got about four and a half thousand subs on this channel, on the Ramblings of Bry, but on this yard, I don't know what it is, about 400? No, is it? I don't know what it is. Anyway, I haven't even looked. Um, but it's not many. And it's never been many. Uh, obviously, art is a bit of a niche thing. If you if you have a channel that's a niche thing, if you just talk about uh, depression, or you talk about whatever, camping, you talk about art, talk about uh, religion, it's... All of those are very niche, really. So you're only going to attract certain people, um, normally. So yeah, twofold question, really. Should should I do a weekly video like I am doing, but should I elongate them? Should I make them more chat and stuff like that and um, whatever? Just a whatever video. Should I do a whatever video for an hour or up to an hour, perhaps? Um, and if I did, would anybody be prepared to watch once a week on this year? Um, and should I put them on both channels? Because I don't know why. I mean, 
sometimes I don't show art very often on the Ramblings of Bry on this channel. I don't show them. Um, when I do, I get lots of comments and oh, how lovely Bry, well done, or, or whatever, you know. And I think, well, why don't you go over to Ishi Art and, and see all of my art? You know, I don't understand that really. So, should I make a video and, and put it on both channels? Who knows? Whatever. So, over to you, if that made any sense. Right, rolling a fag, having a slurpee, having a chat. Um, so I'm just back from the doctors. Now, as you know, for the last few weeks, really, probably more than that, but I've had this pain that started in my side. Still there. But I have to press much, much harder. Can't sleep on the left-hand side. If I breathe in really deeply, then I get this pain all the way down that side um, and it goes across under my bottom rib and slightly down the left hand side so it's, it's all over the bloody place that's what I'm saying to you so that's still there and um, the pain has subsided a lot it has a lot you know so that's good but it is still there I've had the x-rays I've had the results today from the x-rays and they haven't flagged anything up. It all looks totally normal. Um, so we're at a loss, really. So I have got a letter today, this morning, from the National Elf. Bless them. Who says, hello, Bri. Hello. Hello, Bri. Do you want to pop along? I'm going to have another look at the hospital. So I've got an hospital appointment. This is unusual. It's uh, 18.50. That's not the address, that's the time, 18.50, 10 to 7 at night, uh, and that's on next Wednesday. So go along there, they're going to squirt some gel down my side and across my belly and what have you, and uh, see what they can find, so that will be good. Um, <laughs> the letter says I've got to drink two pints of water prior to my appointment, but not eat for six hours. Well, I'm a bit of a pig and I do like to eat, but I can just about not eat. If I drink two pints of water, I'm going to be dying for a wee. And it let continues. Do not open, um, do not, what's it say? Open your bladder. Empty, do not empty your bladder. Um, well, I'm going to be bloody dying for a wee. Anyway, um, I've got to do as I'm told. Not be naughty. So, we'll find out whatever we find out. Um, and that's next Wednesday night, 1850, 10 or 7. We'll see. We should flood the bloody place with pee. <laughs> so, mention a couple of quick people. Um, Sharon Howell put a beautiful photo of her dog on my Ramblings of Bry on Facebook in the snow. Sharon, you take some beautiful photographs. I've said that to you so many times. You really do. Absolutely stunning. And another one to mention with the photographs is Lindsay Benison. Um, Desmond Donders on YouTube, if you have a look on there, he's got frightening music at the beginning and at the end, he drops your slurpee all over your place, Desmond Donders, go and have a look on there, Lindsay, his wife, takes wonderful photographs, um, Scotland in a way is very easy, it's like Cumbria, it's very easy just to take a beautiful photograph, you literally point your camera and click and it's stunning. But there's something more, something more special with Lindsay's photographs. She sees things, the colours and shapes of certain things. And you know that she's looked and looked again and thought, no, if I take it from there, that would be better. You, you know that, you know. So, excuse me, um, Desmond Donders on YouTube. Have a look on there. Good little channel, apart from the music at the beginning. Yeah, I know, I keep going on, Dave. Bloody sort it out. Otherwise I'll be sending you my bill, my dry cleaning bill for my fancy t-shirts full of coffee. So, 
This morning was lovely, absolutely lovely. Woke up and this mist was everywhere, freezing cold though, bloody cold. Um, you probably notice I'm sat in a slightly awkward position, but your body tells you how to sit. Um, it all went well this morning, no problem and what have you. I know I've got this pain in the side, but never mind, you know, and the ankles are not great, but never mind. So we're still out doing our thing. I made a video, quite happy. And then we got to those little gates in, in the park. Um, you can go from the woods, you go into the park um, three separate ways, one, two, three separate ways. And the third way down the bottom is a gate. So I thought I would, I would go through there because it's going down to the river and stuff like that. And I took a couple of photos of the river and that was nice. Just before I got to the gate, there's a woman with her dog, um, probably a lovely dog, but it always wants to have a go at Bodie for some reason. Always has done, you know, she always apologizes and you know, Anyway, when she sees us, she puts her dog on a lead. Um, because I was taking photographs and it was so misty, I didn't even see her walking towards the gate. But she's the other side of the gate. Um, then I heard her dog sort of really going, kind of thing. So I turned around, realised it was her and that dog. So I called Bodie over to me and I always put him on a lead. Um, she always backs well away, so she's fully aware that her dog is quite aggressive. So that's good of her, really. All right, darling, you had your food? Good boy. Um, so yeah, anyway, she backed away from the gate, um, but as I, I bent down, I put his little lead on, and I felt something in the back just twinge, and I stood up, my God, I've got this bad back on me now, really bad, oh, and it hurts. Um, so I've done something in there, but it's just, it's only a bad back, you know, it's not bloody beating on bright for Christ's sake. Oh. Mm. There we go. Um, so anyway, it's just a bad back. It's just one of those things. So I sat here uh, with a hot water bottle on it for a couple of hours. Then I went out a nice hot shower, and then I walked down the doctors. It's only hundred yards or so, my doctors. So I went down there, and um, it is painful my back, but it will get better. It's just one of those silly little things that I do sometimes. So that's all fun and games. Your life can change. Sometimes just like it can turn on a dime, they call it. And it's true, you know, it's an absolute fact that is. You can, you can be perfectly fit and healthy one minute and then bang, something can happen, you know. And I don't know whether I lent wrong or what I did really. Just something, you know, hurts in there. Oh, I can't turn very well, but whatever. Stop going on. Anyway, so we're off in a minute. So yeah, that's one thing about doing on this year is to do a longer video than I would normal normally do. Would anybody be prepared to watch a longer video? And should I put it onto both channels? Answers on a postcard, please. Yeah, if you could just um, comment down below. If you would, let's see what's what. Now they say we've got snow coming um, this afternoon and all day tomorrow. I did say in the video this morning, uh, we've got snow coming today, tomorrow and the next day. Well now they say that the next day, which will be the Saturday, I don't think there's any snow here. I don't think there is. But it's so funny that it seems to be hitting certain areas and then leaving an area and then hitting the next area. And I know places in the country, I've got friends dotted around everywhere, that it snowed literally there. Well, even well, here, um, somebody said the other day that it snowed in so-and-so, that's 14 miles away, and here is clear. But that's weird, isn't it? 14 miles, you'd have thought it might as well just dump its snow everywhere, but it ain't bothered. But we have got it on the way. So we'll be out and about in that, hopefully. So I want to be back to get better. No Derby sledging, making snowmen, throwing snowballs. Yeah, I love it. I do love it. I love the look of the snow. I love the, the purity, you know, the whiteness. It kind of makes 
makes everything nice. Everybody's garden looks the same anyway, that's for one thing. But it, yeah, I just love the snow. It, it brings a quiet with it as well. You know, there's not many people about normally. And when they are, you can just hear them sort of crunch, crunch through the snow. So in about four weeks, I will have my new camera, which I mentioned in the video, the last video, which was my Misty Walk, which is a Canon power shot. If I can remember, I think it's an SX70HS, I believe. But you'd have to watch that video to know whether I'm right or wrong. It's got a terrific zoom on it and you can put an external mic on, which obviously you can't on this camera. So um, I'm really looking forward to getting that. I haven't ordered it yet, as I said in the video that I made this morning. Um, I haven't really got the money for it just yet, but one of the reasons why I've gone for it, it's a lot cheaper than the one that I was going to go for. Um, it's a quagmire. When you start looking at cameras, it really is a quagmire. And I know what I want. Um, my criteria then, I know that, you know, I know that I wanted something with a reasonable zoom and I wanted something with an outside mic or external mic um, and something not too big and bulky that I can just sling in my pocket. Really that was about it, you know, and um, I kind of settled on two cameras, but one was 599, 599. Which I don't mind, I don't mind spending whatever really, because if you can have it for a number of years, hopefully I am, unless I drop it and smash it, but whatever. I'll keep this one as a spare, I think. Um, you know, I don't mind spending whatever on things, if things are going to last, you know, and hopefully they will. But um, this Canon is, I think it's 349, 349 as opposed to 599. And they both do the same. I couldn't see any difference really. On YouTube, there's a guy on YouTube and he does camera versus camera. So he does like Canon, blah, 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 versus, you know, whatever. Um, Luminux, blah, blah, blah. And he does that. He didn't actually do it on these, but he did the um, Canon PowerShot 60. Well, I'm going to get the 70. Um... And really, so there's no difference between the 60 and this other camera, whatever camera it was. So you might as well save your money, really, and go down to the Canon's price. That's what I think, you know. Why bother spending the extra if it's going to do exactly the same? No point is there. Save a few quid, buy a few extra takeaways. Okay, so that's a bonus video for John Long anybody else who could be bothered to sit through and listen to me chat about nothing but I did ask a couple of questions so um, if you can comment great if you don't want to comment great whatever enjoy the rest of your day and um, we'll be back wherever we're back really I always do a video once a week I do a video on Ishiar um, my paintings always come up on a Thursday evening so I try and put the video up Monday or Tuesday to give people a bit of a, a look of what's coming up really. I tend to find with this camera in particular I get a better image of my arts by video than I do by actually photographing them. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with the Canon. Okay. I'm gonna finish my Slurpee. Upload this. And I think I'm going to have a little kip. Try and rest my back. Take care, everybody. Thank you for listening. I'll be back soon. Take care. Be well. Reaches over, grabs the camera, and turns it off. Ta-da.